Welcome to Open Dental Software, an introduction to EHR. Open Dental EHR is a complete EHR certified software used by eligible providers in the EHR incentive program. This brief webinar will just explain what is required to be eligible for the incentive program for year one and years two through six. Please visit our website for additional information at www.opendental.com. EHR stands for Electronic Health Record. The federal government has a monetary incentive program to encourage medical and dental offices alike to digitize patient health records. In order to participate in the EHR incentive program, a provider must meet one of these following criteria. A minimum 30% Medicaid patient volume, a minimum 20% Medicaid patient volume, and also a pediatrician, or a practice predominantly in a federally qualified health center or a rural health center, and have a minimum 30% patient volume attributable to needy individuals. If you're currently using Open Dental software, there are reports that you can run to determine the percentage of Medicaid patients seen in your office. In order to participate, you will need to sign up for Open Dental Support with an EHR contract. Open Dental Support is $159 per month in addition to an EHR calendar year fee of $720 per eligible provider. We will provide a signed and dated one-year contract that will need to be renewed each calendar year that you plan to apply for an EHR incentive. EHR Year 1 is called AIU. This stands for Adopt, Implement, and Upgrade. This means that for the first year you only need to purchase an EHR certified software and are not required to use it. And just a reminder that 2016 is the cutoff to sign up for EHR Year 1. If you plan to apply for an incentive in years two through six, you will need to continue with Open Dental Support and you will need to renew your Open Dental EHR contract each year that you plan to apply for an incentive. There are 10 total objectives to report on in Modified Stage 2 for EHR. Each objective may have one or more measures that must be met. In some instances, exclusions might be available but it's important that you contact your state and clarify what measures your state truly requires. We'll just go over each one. Number one, protect electronic health information. You must be able to show that you have a system in place to protect patient information and you must have documentation to prove that. To meet the objective, you'll conduct a security risk analysis. Two, clinical decision support, or CDS. There are two measures that must be satisfied for this objective. One, implement five clinical decision support interventions related to four or more CQMs, or clinical quality measures, or high priority health conditions at a relevant point of patient care for the entire reporting period. And two, enable and implement drug-to-drug -drug and drug allergy interaction checks for the entire EHR reporting period. Most offices will meet this objective by using comprehensive electronic prescribing. Three, computerized provor uh, provider order entry, or CPOE. This means that an order is entered by a licensed provider. To count a CPOE in Open Dental, that provider must be using Open Dental under their own provider login. Orders could be anything from medications to lab work to radiology orders. Number four, e-prescribing. More than 50% of permissible prescriptions written by the provider are queried for a drug formulary and transmitted electronically. And again, most offices can meet this objective by using comprehensive electronic prescribing. Number five, 
Health Information Exchange, or Summaries of Care. Providers that transition or refer patients to another provider or setting of care must, one, create a summary of care using Open Dental, and two, electronically transmit that summary of care to a receiving provider for more than 10% of transitions of care and referrals. Number six, patient-specific education. To meet this objective, you'll use Open Dental to identify and provide education resources for more than 10% of all unique patients who have office visits during the reporting period. Education resources can be based on problems, medications, lab results, or tobacco use. Number seven, medication reconciliation. Providers must reconcile a patient's open dental medication list with a list of medications received from another provider for more than 50% of transitions of care in which the patient is transitioned into the care of the provider. Number eight, patient electronic access. To meet this objective, the office needs to have a patient portal set up where patients can view, download, or transmit their health records. Access to the patient portal needs to be granted to more than 50% of patients, and at least one patient needs to log into that patient portal to meet this objective. Number nine, secure messaging. Offices must send a secure webmail message to at least one patient or authorized patient representative using the patient portal. And number 10, public health reporting. An eligible provider in contact, active contact with a public health agency submits electronic data such as immunization records, diseases, any health conditions, et cetera. In most cases, it's likely that a dentist may be able to apply for an exclusion for this objective, but again, you'll need to contact your state to clarify. If you do meet the exclusion criteria, your state may still require that you sign a participation agreement. To receive your EHR incentive payment, you'll need to go through the attestation process, and this is covered in another webinar. For the first year that you're using EHR, you will need to show proof that you have met your AIU requirements for adopt, implement, upgrade. Your signed EHR contract is your proof. In years two through six, you'll be required to submit reports showing that you are entering patient information that meets the required objectives. Your EHR certified open dental software will give you the tools necessary to create those needed reports. And remember that the audit rate is high for EHR, so it's vitally important that all the information that you enter is accurate and detailed. Someone on your staff will need to take the lead to understand EHR and own your EHR process. We can explain how to enter EHR data and produce reports, but if you do need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 per hour. We welcome any questions that you might have. You can always call us at 503-363-5432. And I want to remind you that additional pre-recorded webinars can be found on our website. On the lower left of our homepage, I've just highlighted it in yellow there, there's a link that says pre-recorded webinars. If you click that link when you're on our homepage for Open Dental, you'll see a list of several pre-recorded EHR webinars that you can watch anytime at your convenience at www.opendental.com. Thank you.